Yo, welcome back. You're still watching Ways. Now, today is Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is a Christian movable feast that falls on the Sunday before Easter. It commemorates the entrance of Jesus into Jerusalem when palm branches were placed in his path before his arrest on Holy Thursday and his crucifixion on Good Friday. It thus marks the beginning of the Holy Week, the final week of length. Even though there's a lockdown, we're wishing everyone happy palm sunday yeah all the catholics especially right they are the Why? ones that do um okay they do a lot of activities yeah that i thing. saw a woman on instagram i mean she was doing the procession herself even and her husband her with you her know children. just let me let me celebrate the palm sunday even if we cannot do it as a group at least i can do it for with myself what interesting times we're living in. <laughs> All right, we have Akanimo Ojo. She'll be joining us via Skype to see what she found in the news. Akanimo, are you there? Yes, hello. Hi, Akanimo. Hello. You're looking so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so what did you find for us today's news? What did you find for us in today's news? Okay, today, uh, today we'll be taking from African News, and it's Nigeria Ocean State says only one uh, only one coronavirus patient missing. Now, this is a build-up of an existing story that I earlier said that about six confirmed COVID-19 patients had, you know, gone missing from their isolation center where they were kept. And it was a lot of pandemonium, panic, you know, these six people being released. But they came forward and said, no, it's not six. It's just one person. And latest news have said that they found the one person. But my concern is in this situation, so outside Lagos, how prepared are other states for what we're facing? Because we're, we're still going to discover more people as the testing um, capacity expands. But how are we able to contain this? So I see that recently we're asking for pe people to return back to the country. Um, if they need to come back. Do we have the capacity to be able to isolate these people in good conditions and test them and then give them the necessary support that they need? So it's just a frightful one for me, but I'm, I'm very happy that they found the one person and the situation has been contained. Awesome. Thank you so much, Akanimo, for joining us. <laughs> so we'll leave you now. All right. Thank you. Kisses. <laughs> um, All right, so my, um, my, my concern yeah. is that um, what kind of security did they have in place mm. that would have um, allowed that person to have escaped without notice? Absolutely. That's a bit frightening for me. Yeah. And what kind of condition were there that would have necessitated that action? Absolutely. Why did the person take that kind of action? So I think they need to improve on the security. Absolutely. And it yeah. also questions the readiness of other, other states you know yeah how they are prepared for this so what did you find for us in the news okay um there's this news circulating in the social media i didn't lift it from any particular social media it's about um the house party that was organized by um Fukuke and her husband to commemorate his birthday. birthday yesterday i think i found it very distasteful and very very irresponsible well, um, aside, there were a lot of backlash and all that yesterday, and there was another sequel to that. There was um, a, an apology video made by the wife yeah. today, and I still don't accept the apology. And from my own perspective, I think she needs to be made a scapegoat. Wow. Well, yes, because... Why do you feel so? Because you're talking no, from a legal perspective. No, but because you there think... has to be rule of law anyway. Yeah. The law says that not more than 20 people. Mm. But even without the, gov without the government talking about convergence... Well, honestly speaking, um, when the story broke, I remember when we were talking, I said the most responsible thing to do at this point is that just no come out and... No what, what I'm saying that okay. you've done, you've goofed. Just come out and apologize. And I don't I'm think happy. that will suffice. Wait, I'm happy, first of all, she's admitted it and she's apologized. But I think if I want to go and enter her mind, to think from her mind, okay, that's the apology video that she made, you know, afterwards, you know. When I want to enter her mind, I am thinking in my head that, um, okay, they've been together during the lockdown. Listen, How listen, did they you get listen to her apology? Get, no, 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 hold why? on. They've been... They've because been I've not finished before. Oh, okay, fin okay, sorry, finish, now. sorry. 
I could even puncture our argument, mm. our apology, saying that they were together before the lockdown. Don't forget there was a kind of a soft... A mini of, lockdown, lockdown yes, yes. Which at that time, she should have dispersed them. They, should, they, was, they, they weren't supposed to be in location and all that. She should have dispersed them at that time. And when the president gave the directive, it was on a Sunday night, they had, to, they had Monday to disperse them. So her argument saying that they were on location, she could do... Okay, agreed, fine, they were on location at that time. They didn't need that party. No, they didn't actually. They didn't need to There's give no excuse so she for cooked. that because even that she cooked and she served them drinks. And did you see the way they were packed together? In that room? Yeah. No, that's it, it, it's not totally. And especially of because her. white people were calling her out. She is the she's the brand ambassador yeah, for NDC. NDC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so it, that was totally irresponsible. It's, it was irresponsible. She's no. apologized. Please. No, but an apology would not stop. Yes, yeah, I done. I understand Ooh, that. Language. Rule of law. The law should be applied evenly. Okay, I think. I'll leave it. I can't, I can't, um, I can't she's hold, my, she, I can't she, hold it for her. I love my that. Story is, I have to say the truth. <laughs> my story is okay. taken from, um, it, it's just um, a tweet that our governor has just um, declared that some more people have been discharged. I mean, five more patients comprising of two females and three males. This includes the 10-year-old girl that had tested positive. They've been discharged. Now they've tested negative twice. The governor is announcing it and is so is so happy, happy to. Yeah, it. so I'm excited about this. Yeah. And this is why I picked this story particularly is that people are afraid of COVID-19 and that's why they're not coming out. But we're seeing that we're getting more recoveries. more recoveries than death. So I'm saying to anybody out there, please, if you have a travel history, don't keep yourself because when you keep yourself at home, I'll repeat you what I said, escalated. you're not being considerate and you're putting every other person at, at risk. risk. All right, so um, we have um, someone we thought to do something nice and reach out to a viewer to see how they are coping and how they are handling the pandemic. Do we have Tammy on the on Skype joining us? Tammy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Hi Tammy. Well, you're looking so pretty. Hello. <laughs> so um, we Hi, thought guys. we, we how thought. Are you doing? Thank Very you well. so much. So we thought to do something to uh, to engage our audience, and you are a mother of two. Um, we wanted to ask you how are you coping with the lockdown, and um, have you had any reason to restock um, your house? Have you run out of anything, and what has it been like? Yeah. Um. It's it's been okay. I guess um, this is a time that when this all of this is over, somehow it brings the family together. We've been able to spend a lot of time playing games, reading, doing the things that we usually would not have time to do. So it has a plus side and it has a minus side. The minor side is that we're eating every second. <laughs> I hope we all don't get too fat when we leave this, when we are done with the isolation. Absolutely. But, you know, so, the kids so. are always looking for something to munch on. Everybody wants to eat every second, you know. <laughs> and then it makes us so lazy. Wow. So how do you keep the children <laughs> engaged? How do you keep the kids um, engaged? And what ages are they? My kids are a bit older. I have okay. a 10 year old and a 13 year old. Oh, okay. So they kind of keep themselves entertained. But then I try to make sure that every time, every day, we all sit together and do something together. Because everybody has different things they want to do. But I make sure that the family comes together every time, once a, while, once a day. And then we all spend time together doing something. It could be watching a movie, it could be playing games, it could be playing football outside the compound, you know. We all make sure that we're together every day, doing right, something so, together. Jamie, we're talking security. Have you had any security, security challenges with your, with your, I mean, in, within your estate where you live? Have you had any security challenges? No. Maybe because I live in a gated estate. Okay. There's not been any security issues here. Oh, okay. you know, everybody's inside. You see people come out of their houses in the evening taking a stroll or exercising. But so far, so good. No crime in my estate, nothing. All right. So final question, how has trade. this been affecting your business? Because I know you are an interior person and you, re you would re require to re relate with people to do your business. Has this stopped business in any way for you or you're still doing your business um, um, online? Oh, it has, it has affected us a lot. Wow. Because we have deadlines we have down, but it's a good thing because it's affecting everybody. So the clients understand. Okay. The workers are forced to stay at home. So, but now the, the only problem 
even though we had deadlines, all deadlines need to be put on kind, kind of understand. So now we're all using this time to, you know, do more research and do the groundwork that does not require going to sites and, awesome. and all that. Thank it's you so everybody. much, Tammy, for joining us. And keep Thank watching. You. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so um, Dr. Dixon Osaji joins us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back to talk on security.